Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all the books that I will hopefully be reading in June. I feel like my TBR is a little bit too ambitious for the plans that I have in June. I'm going on like a week long vacation in June to uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area um, to see my best friend and to also go to book bonanza to see all my other book besties so um i will be gone for like a week and i don't see myself reading a lot in that week so that's like a week off of <laughs> my two plans for reading but it's okay it's fine i still want to read all of these books i have some new releases to talk about some book clubs read-alongs uh books that i want to read before book bonanza we'll see if that actually happens um, and then just some random books that I really want to read right now. So let's get started. We're first going to talk about the new releases in June. On June 9th, we have Reckless by Elsie Silver. This is book number four in the Chestnut Spring series. I'm caught up on this series now, so I am able to like read the book whenever it comes out. And I think the audiobook might be coming out at the same time as the book release. So I'm very excited about that. This one's about Theo and Winter. You've read about both of these characters in the previous books in the series. Winter is Summer from book one's sister. Theo, I believe, is a bull writer as well. He was in book one. Uh, Rhett from that book was his mentor of sorts. So um, yeah, I think it's also like an age gap romance where she's older than him. I also believe this is a surprise pregnancy book, which I'm currently reading a surprise pregnancy book right now, and I am obsessed with it. So I'm thinking that like, this is just gonna be amazing as well. <laughs> so um, I very much look forward to this book coming out on June 9th. On June 5th, I have a very exciting release for myself. This is a monster romance. I love Lila Faye. If you don't know, she's a monster romance author and she is writing a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde monster romance. So this is Falling for Mr. Hyde um, by Lila Faye. And I am looking forward to this a lot. I've seen a bunch of quotes and like promo on her Instagram and it just has me so interested in reading this book. The cover terrifies me a little bit because he's he's kind of scary, um, but you know what? It's fine. I've been wanting to read like a really good Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde monster romance. Like I've been dying for it because Lady of Works Grave Manor wasn't really my favorite. It was fine. It wasn't my favorite. Um, so I am hoping that this one just like fills my need for that monster romance. On June 6th, there's actually an anthology coming out that I'm very much interested in. This is Pride Not Prejudice. Um, and it's a collection of short romance stories by other authors, I believe for Pride Month. There are a bunch of authors that are on this anthology, but the main reason why it piqued my interest is because Ruby Dixon is writing a story for this um, collection. So a few other authors are Kerrigan Byrne, Jennifer Ashley, Erica Ridley, Mila Finelli, and um, another one is Sarah and I. Like there are even more authors on here too, but those are the ones that stick out to me that I personally know. Um, but yeah, I think this will probably be a great anthology to read during Pride Month. Then I have to mention the books that we should read during June for the Summer of Tessa Dare Read Along that's hosted by me, Rachel, Tiffany, Samantha, and B. Um, I will, I'll link them all down below, obviously, but we put on the Summer of Tessa Dare Read Along where all summer we're gonna be reading Tessa Dare's books. Um, and yeah, the first live show we had in May was like a smash, we loved it. And um, I hope that y'all did as well, but I'm gonna mention the books and the live shows that are gonna be happening in June. In a few days on June 4th is going to be our second live show and it's gonna be on Samantha's channel. And we're gonna be having two books for that live show. Um, first one is book two in the Spindle Cove series, which is A Week to be Wicked. This is Colin and Minerva's story. Um, these are all gonna be rereads for me, by the way. I've already read this one and the other ones that we're gonna mention, a part of the Summer of Tessa Day read along. Um, but I love these books so much, so I will for sure reread them, obviously. But this one is a road trip romance that is absolutely beautiful. I love this one. The banter in this one is A+. I don't have a physical copy of this one, but A Lady by Midnight is the other one we should read for that live show. It's book three in the series, and I can't remember their names off the top of my head right now, um, but this one is like a hidden identity kind of um, trope. Our heroine in here has been living in Spindle Cove. Um, Spindle Cove is also, by the way, um, a town put together by the heroine from book one for like outcasts or wallflowers from British society to come and find solace basically. So our heroine in here, um, she was ostracized basically by 
a lot of people because of the birthmark that's on her face. Um, and turns out she may or may not be a long lost titled lady. She just doesn't know it yet. So that's what this book is about. Then on June 18th is uh, my live show. By the way, all of these live shows are at 4 p.m. CST on Sundays. Anyway, on the 18th of June is the live show on my channel where we will be talking about two novellas and a main book in the series. So book number 3.5 is Beauty and the Blacksmith. It's one of my favorite Tessa Dare reads. Um, our heroine in here, you've met her in the previous books in the series. She falls for the town of Blacksmith in Spittle Cove. Then book four in the series is Any Duchess Will Do. Probably my favorite book in this series. It's so good. Our hero here is a duke and his mother really wants him to get married and find a wife already. So she takes him to Spindle Cove and is like, out of all the women in this shop right now, pick one and I will train one to be your duchess. He doesn't want a wife, so he picks the woman he thinks will do the worst job, so he picks the barmaid. <laughs> and so the barmaid comes to uh, London with them and trains to be a duchess. Um, she ends up actually loving it. I love that one so much. And then book number 4.5 is Lord Dashwood Missed Out, which is a um, it's like second chance romance situation, little novella. I adore this one as well. So those are all of the books for the Summer of Tessadere for the month of June. I have two other historicals that I want to mention that I do want to read sometime in June because like they are so good. They look so good. First, I have the second book in the Notorious Ladies of London series by Scarlett Scott. I do have a physical copy of this book. I found it at a half price books or a used bookstore or something. But I read book one last month and in love with it. Like one of my favorite books of the year, top three favorite books of the year. Um, that one's called Lady Reckless. I love that one. This is Lady Wallflower. And I am just thoroughly excited to read these books. I think that this one is on Audible Plus. So I'm very excited to listen to it because the audiobook was fantastic for book one. All I know is that this is about Joe and Elijah and I'm pretty sure we met them in book one, but I'm very excited for this one because I just adore book one so much. And then my audiobook hold for this book comes in in June and I am thrilled. I am so excited. My audiobook hold for Queen Charlotte is coming in in June. Like, yes, <laughs> this book is absolutely stunning. I love it. The TV show is probably my favorite TV show of all time right now because <laughs> it is so good. I am obsessed with it. This romance is absolutely breathtaking and I can't wait to just get more of Charlotte and George in this book and just I want to know more. I want to know more about them and I can't wait to read their book because the TV show is absolutely flawless to me. For a monster romance read or alien romance, I make sure to have at least like one on every TBR because I am always in that mood. Uh, first, I have The Mountain's Mate by Sarah Ivy Hill. I think I saw some art on her Instagram for book two in the series and it's like a giant and a, like the hero is a giant and the heroine is like can fit in his hand. Like I don't know how that's gonna work, but co color me intrigued, okay? Um, so this is the first book in the Salt Plant Giant series. So I'm assuming all of them are giants. I don't know. This is on Kindle Unlimited, by the way. So that's how I got it. But I will read the summary because I haven't read it yet. It's really short. It says, he'll move mountains for her. When Patrick, a giant scar alien, hires a human for a covert mission, he doesn't expect a female to take the gig, nor does he expect his long dormant mating instinct to ignite for someone so tiny. Okay, so like size difference? Okay. Um, when the heist goes awry and they're forced to hide out together until the heat dies down, the close quarters reveal that though they're vastly mismatched in size, their hearts are a perfect fit. So it's like a forced proximity also. To escape with his freedom, Patrick must flee the city, but leaving her behind will break him. Can he convince her to join him in the mountains and take a monster as her mate? Like, <laughs> that sounds so so ready for this. I want to read this right now. It sounds so good. And then book two is out as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think he's a blue giant. Okay, next one. I have to read this before I go to Dallas because I will be meeting this author and I have never read a book by this author. I will be meeting Kennedy Ryan in June at a signing that's not Book Bonanza, um, but she will be in Dallas at a different signing. So, um, a few of my friends and I are gonna go to that. And I have never read a Kennedy Ryan book. No, that's a lie. I read the little um, Audible novella, Coming Home. I read that one, but that's not a full length book. You know what I mean? So I have to read real. Even though this book is already signed by her, I got it in Atlanta, like signed, like it was, it came signed in the bookstore that we went to. Um, I kind of just want to go with this, knowing that I've already read it and meet her because so many of my friends who also have chronic illnesses really relate to this story. And so I really want to just meet her and talk to her about it. 
um, because I just know that I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Um, so I am very excited to read this book. My audiobook hold comes in very soon and um, I just know that I'm going to love this one. Um, our heroine in here, I'm pretty sure she has lupus and our hero is a movie director and hires her to be the star in his movie. Um, but he doesn't want anything to happen between the two of them even though he's very attracted to her um, because I think he has previous experience with like dating his actors that has not gone well. So my friends love this book and I know I will too and I just need to read a Kennedy Ryan book, like a book book before I go meet her. I really wanna read one book by Laura Pavlov before I go to Book Bonanza. So one that I'm really interested in is Into the Tide, which is the first book in like her newer series. This is a small town brother's best friend romance. And I've heard really good things about this series so far. Um, I know Lizelle really loves um, these books in this series. So I definitely trust her. Um, and yeah, it just looks really good. The covers for Laura Pavlov's books are also always stunning. And I want to read something by her before I meet her in June. And then I do want to try and read another Melanie Moreland book um so I want to read Into the Storm. I read one book by Melanie Moreland for preparation for Book Bonanza and I ended up DNFing it. I did not care for it at all. I think that one was Beneath the Scars or something like that. I did not care for that one. Um, so I'm really hoping that I love this one. I know some of my friends love Melanie Moreland, so I just need to maybe find the right book for me by this author. I want to read the summary for this one because it does sound really interesting and I can't really sum it up better than the summary. It says, she is a woman on the run. Pain, loneliness, and terror are what she's leaving. Where she is headed doesn't matter as long as it's away from the hell her life has become. Joshua Bennett is trapped in a prison of his own making by memories of his past. Traumatized and isolated, he's a reclusive writer. Living a quiet, lonely life, his only companion, his dog, Bear. It is what he knows, what he has accepted to be his life. One dark night, one huge storm, and one ice patch brings them together. He finds himself with an unexpected house guest with no memory. It's a major romance. She wakes up a stranger to herself and the man watching her. Even more mysterious is the lack of any sort of identification with her or in her car. She is an enigma to them both. Trapped by the storm and isolated from the outside world, they slowly open up, trust, learning to trust and love until the world once again shows up threatening their fragile peace of their newly discovered world and tearing them apart. This kind of reminds me of a book that I read a few weeks ago, Hush Darling by Avery Kingston. That kind of reminds me of that, but that one doesn't have amnesia. Um, but I kind of really like the amnesia trope and I love the snowed in trope. So I'm praying that I actually really like this Melanie Moreland book. In my April TBR, I talked about some books that I wanted to read before June to prepare myself for Book Bonanza. But guess who didn't read a lot of those books? Me. So um, again, these are the books that I have not read yet that I own from authors going to Book Bonanza. I'll just list them off because I already talked about them and this video is gonna hold me accountable. I need to read these before I meet these authors. So Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin. I think this is like a Priest, Headmaster, Romance, Age Gap. Then um, Leave Me Breathless by Jodi Ellen Malpass. I literally know nothing about this book at all, but I own a Jodi Ellen Malpass and she will be there. Um, a new one to the collection is Lessons in Corruption by Jonah Darling. I have read book two. I read Welcome to the Dark Side, but I haven't read this one. But I think this is age gap, like student teacher situation, um, but she's the teacher. Um, and then I still haven't read Liar by Fiona Cole. I think this is like best friend's uncle situation, I think. And then I also haven't read The Bridge Kingdom yet, fantasy romance. And then I also haven't read Someday Someday yet. I've read some other Emma Scott books, but not this one yet. But you know what? I'm gonna bring all these to get signed. I just really want to like say I've already read them when I get them signed, you know? Anyway, there you have it. Those are the books that I will hopefully be reading in June. Very ambitious, very ambitious, but it's okay. I believe it myself. <laughs> gonna happen it's fine also let me know down below if you are going to book bonanza i would love to know maybe we can say hello when we're there and let me know what books you really need to read before you go to book bonanza like i need to read so many of these anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all